Hello and welcome to another episode of Crypto Disruption. My name is Tommy. Today we got a really cool project that we are going to review with you called Data Blockchain. But first, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Hit the little bell so that you get notifications when we put out next videos. It doesn't cost you anything, has a lot of value to us, and allows us to continue to keep putting out valuable crypto information. So today we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna go over data blockchain. I do have an interview as part of this review with the CMO, Adam Middleberg. Really good in, uh, interview. First off, let's cover a couple basics. What is data blockchain? Data blockchain is a big data company that merges big data, artificial intelligence, and the blockchain technology. Um, it's a smart data platform built on blockchain technology it makes data more readily available and less expensive than the current methods of data gathering and vetting. They are about to enter their presale of their DBC token. The presale will run from May 27th until June 21st. The price of the token is eight cents. Essentially what it is is it's 12 cents with a 50% bonus. So it comes out to eight cents during that time. After the 21st, they will go into their main token sale on the 27th. So from June 27th to July 21st, the token will be 12 cents at that time. They have a soft cap of $10 million, a hard cap of $50 million. And what is this all about? All right, so what are the use cases for data? We have digital and online marketing. We have analytic modeling. We have media buying direct marketing, CRM, customer relationship, customer acquisition, the list goes on and on. There's a lot of things you can do. People finding, enhancement of existing data, background checks, real-time leads, health insurance companies can use it. Um, they can use it for risk management. So there's a lot of uses for this. There's a lot of money in big data. And traditionally, big data has not been available to smaller or mid-sized companies. It's these giant corporations that are able to afford it. This project is actually making it affordable for all the companies out there to be able to get access to big data. Very, very exciting. If you've been in this sort of field, if you've been in online marketing or you've, or you've used any of these tools, if you've been in any of these fields that uses big data for companies, you know just how expensive it could be. So I'm really excited to see a solution on the blockchain that brings this back down to you know, a, a real world value that the normal average business will have access to. They also had a really exciting partnership that they've inked lately with Media Direct. It contributes billions of records tied to over 300 million customers and 16 million businesses. That's huge. It, it, it's really exciting to see these uh, companies coming into ICOs now, not just with, you know, an idea or a conception, but with actual real partnerships with actual either an alpha or a beta or a working product or a working product. Um, very, very exciting. The ICU world has changed from what it was um, a year ago, even six months ago. It's, it's drastically different. The companies that we're seeing coming into these now uh, really have their act together. Um, data blockchain is one that I'm really excited about. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and jump into the interview with Adam and then I will be back after that interview to just kind of wrap things up, go over a couple things. Um, and I have some exciting news about data blockchain at the end of it, just another portion in their white paper. I'm gonna say that to the end though, just a little bit of teaser for you guys um, till after the interview. All right, so without any further ado, let's jump into this. All right, thanks everybody. Today we have Adam Middleberg, the CMO of data blockchain with us today. Thank you for joining us and um, welcome. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Perfect. Um, why don't we start out by uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, sure. As you mentioned, uh, my name is Adam Middleberg. I'm the chief marketing officer of Data Blockchain. Um, I've spent the past uh, 20 years or so in digital data and marketing and uh, Data blockchain is really a culmination of everything I want to see in the uh, in the data space. Um, you know, I've sold a lot of data uh, throughout my career, and I bought a lot of data. Uh, and what I see um, with data blockchain is that this, uh, in my opinion, will truly disrupt the data marketplace uh, as it exists today. 
And um, I've always been able to stay a little bit ahead of the market when it comes to uh, emerging technologies. And uh, I want to take my experience along with the rest of the data blockchain team and, and really change the way that data providers and businesses um, both, uh, you know, handle data sales and uh, data needs. Perfect. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about Data Blockchain, the company? Sure. Uh, well, Data Blockchain itself, I think, is a tremendously exciting venture. Um, I've been, you know, 20 years in the industry, and uh, there's an opportunity, like I said, to truly democratize data and level the playing field. Mm -hmm. um, we, we're able to offer data providers transparency and uh, transactional finality that is something that just simply doesn't exist today. And it's, uh, it's a great opportunity uh, for data providers to be a part of a consortium and really have that transactional transparency that doesn't exist. So it gives a huge advantage uh, to them and it also gives a huge advantages to businesses, um, whether large or small, uh, to have a single destination um, to access, you know, the best and most crucial and critical data that they need in order to uh, to make those business decisions that they that they so desperately need to do in a timely way and at an affordable rate. So, the team, um, all of us, we're all aligned uh, with the mission to um, to reshape the way the world buys data and uh, to make it easier and faster, more secure and transparent than uh, it ever has been before. So. Perfect. All right. So um, you tapped into a little bit in this, in your explanation, but you know, what was the overall motivation behind the project? Sure. So, you know, we've seen the problem for the past 20 years, but uh, we don't, or we haven't seen a solution yet. And, there's always been a tremendous amount of inefficiencies between all the different layers when it comes to acquiring data. Um, you have list brokers and list managers and middlemen and all these inefficiencies that are in the way. And it's because of these layers of inefficiencies that you end up with a breakdown in communication, yep. you end up with um, added expenses on the business side, they're acquiring uh, ineffective or unnecessary data costs and needs. And um, our objective is to really kind of um, eliminate all of that and provide the critical data that the users need and want at the right time. What do you see as the challenges that data providers deal with today? I mean, you tapped into a little bit of that in that explanation, but uh, can you go a little deeper with that? Uh, sure. Well, for one, uh, there's a total lack of trust and verification within the industry. Right. So if you're a data provider, you know, you end up turning over your data and you hope that the data is being protected correctly. You hope that you're being pay, uh, paid fairly for the transaction that takes place that takes yeah. place. But the problem is, is that data providers can't they can't live on hope. Right. They need to live on on known information and they need to live on known revenue streams. And without that lack of clarity, uh, it's a big problem. And utilizing um, data blockchain and utilizing our search index engine, when a user comes in to use data blockchain um, and they make their selects to the type of data that they're looking for, um, our engine is gonna reach out through our oracles and it's gonna go to all of our different data providers out there and find the exact precise data that's needed by the user. And then as that data gets purchased, it only gets pulled, the specific data gets pulled on behalf of the user from those specific providers. And once that transaction happens, it's a finality, right? So it's done and it's complete. And what's really nice is that unlike today where you have all these lengthy terms that exist, right? A data provider can get paid in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, never, yep. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> this way they're able to get paid as with our tokens, right as the transaction happens, that provides a tremendous amount of comfort on the data provider side. And um, at the same time, it provides a tremendous amount of uh, benefit to the user because they're, gain they're getting all of those different data sources at a single location. Awesome. Um, so how, how will businesses benefit from data blockchain? 
Uh, well, they're going to get better data. Yeah. <laughs> source data and it's far more, uh, it's going to be far more effective for them. Um, you know, if you, you, you take the data, uh, and, and you end up making better business decisions and, you know, data blockchain has the ability to help businesses today. And as we look into the future mm -hmm. and, you know, at the, we're looking and we're really hopeful. It's all around, right. Customer adaptation. And that can always be a challenge uh, right. as with any new technology. Um, but we're going to be able to use our token for a lot of uh, incentives um, on behalf of the users. And we feel that um, when users see the value of data blockchain, mm -hmm. it's going to follow. And with adoption, we see market share uh, that should follow right along that. So we're really excited and we think there's a tremendous amount of benefit. That, that's, that's extremely exciting. So I read about a partnership with uh, Media Direct. Can you tell me how that helps data blockchain? Uh, we're really excited about our, our partnership with Media Direct. Uh, we feel that this gives us a huge uh, competitive advantage because it already provides us with a tremendous amount of data. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, now data on over 300 million consumers and on over 16 million businesses. And wow. within that, we have hundreds of different attributes, so virtually billions of records that once we um, launch data blockchain, uh, um, we're going to have a tremendous amount of data that users will already be, be able to access. So it's really, really exciting. And we're really excited about um, future partnerships with other data providers. So the, the, the future is, uh, is close and exciting. Yeah. That, that's huge. I mean, um, so why would a data provider want to partner with data blockchain? Uh, well, that's simple. Uh, one, it's additional, it's additional sales, uh, yeah. without additional marketing, right? So, you know, that's one. The other is the transparency and security that they get um, using it through blockchain that, that doesn't exist today in the marketplace. Um, and something interesting is that a lot of the largest data providers can also be the largest data buyers. So in a lot of cases, we'll see that those providers actually become users of data blockchains. So we feel really confident about that. And, uh, you know, our plan is to build a true consortium of uh, data aggregators and providers, like I said, to democratize the data space and provide data to the world. So um, we feel that it'll be the most effective, um, most effective uh, source, you know, or most effective uh, um, platform because of all the sources of data that we feel pretty confident that we'll be able to develop partnerships with. Well, that's really interesting that they, they, they do they both provide and and buy. I mean, they're kind of on both sides of the spectrum there. Is there anything else that you wanted to touch base on or, or you know, kind of let the users know? Um, any closing thoughts for you? Um, I would say that uh, um, something that's really exciting for us is that we have our MVP that's going to be launching soon. And um, in fact, we believe it should launch in about the next 10 days or so. And uh, the MVP is going to provide a glimpse into um, just how easy users are going to be able to access data and have the ability for, um, uh, to make numerous selects. And they're going to be able to see how within just a few clicks, they're able to perform a transaction and get the exact data that they're looking for. So that's something that we're really, really excited about. And we think that those, um, those who will want to uh, preview data blockchain will be really excited when they get a chance to, uh, to demo the MVP. Well, that, that's, that's extremely exciting. Yeah. Well, Adam, thank you for taking the time with me today. I'm really excited about this project. Um, you know, big data is something that I've, I've followed for a while and seeing that it's got the artificial intelligence in there and adding blockchain into it. Uh, this is, this is a really exciting project for me. Um, I, I think you guys are going to, um, absolutely kill it. So, well, thank you very much. Uh, I, I, I'm excited to follow this and, and watch where it goes. Um, so thank you very much for your time today, and uh, have a good day. Thank you. You as well. All right. That was the interview with Adam Middleberg, CMO of Data Blockchain. All right. So I said at the end that I had something exciting in the white paper I wanted to show you. Um, th this is more exciting to me, uh, and, and I would hope that it would be exciting to you guys. 
as you can see, you know, they got the team. You can connect with all these guys. It's real people on there. They got LinkedIn profiles. But the one part that I wanted to show you, the little teaser that I had towards the end was, look at these patents. Look at the patents that they've got on this. They have seven patents, seven U.S. patents coming into this ICO. You know, a lot of companies come into the ICOs in the past. They don't even have a product. They, they just have a white paper. They got seven U.S. patents as they're coming into this um, ICO. That's that's. To me, that's a big deal, and it really shows that they have their act together. They're serious about this. They have all the data that they need to get started, and it's just a matter of time. I'm really excited about this project. I think there's a lot of room to grow with this. Um, again, pre-sale goes from 5.27 to 6.21, eight cents. That's 12 cents with a 50% bonus comes out to eight cents. The main token sale runs from June 27th to July 21st. The token price is 12 cents at that time. Soft cap of $10 million, hard cap of $50 million. I'm really excited about this project. I hope you are too. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't put a second mortgage out on your house. Do your own due diligence. Do your research. Look at their site. Look at their team. Go through the project. If you like the project, then I would say look to see if you can jump in. And as always, trade responsibly.